Welcome back, my friends. So this week caps off a really up and down week for me on the 10K account. Throughout the week, it looked like we were just gonna destroy it, as a lot of my earnings plays were up 90, 100%, something like that. The point where I just wanted to let Theta eat away at them and just get 100%. Now, unfortunately, with the current state of politics, that always seems to be a real mistake, as our current president makes it very difficult to manage risk. What was a week that should have ended up 10, 15%, has now ended up a week that was up only about 4%. So yeah, pretty much at this point, you might as well just join an investing discord. So let's get into how I let all my viewers down. So we really only had like two big plays this week, MU and Pepsi, and both started off going pretty well. For MU, we went for an iron condor. Now, I was never able to fully build my iron condor. The idea was that I was gonna open up a PCS in the earnings run up and a call credit spread when it maxed out probably the day before the earnings release. Basically gambling that volatility would plummet and that the people who bought our iron condor from us would be IV crushed the very next day. Now that play went pretty well and the call credit spread wing of the Iron Condor made a pretty great money. The problem is our put credit spread wing is now uh, teetering between in the money and not in the money. Pepsi, I ended up in a very similar situation. I opened up a call debit spread and the day immediately following earnings, we were absolutely right. Pepsi crushed earnings and that call debit spread was near 100% profit. Now at that point I figured why not just wait it out, let Theta finish the work. Now let me preface this by saying I don't like to get politics involved in this channel. But why this fucking idiot had to go to a debate, talk about how masks were bad, and then get coronavirus the next goddamn day, I, I just don't even know what to say, you know? President Trump, you've, you've stepped into my zone where your dipshittery is now fucking with the market. And it's making it hard for me to make money. You know, both my plays I published this week, they were winning plays. I made the right call. I called what would happen post earnings, price action, and all. But as expected, after the media got a hold of Trump's coronavirus diagnosis, the market immediately plunged about 1.5%. Futures gapping down almost the second it hit the news. So for me, this meant even though I got the earnings releases I wanted, I was still fucked in a broad market downturn. My gains on Pepsi turned from about a $2,000 win into a very modest $290 win overnight. I've yet to be able to close my MU position. I'm hoping that ends up profitable by the 16th. Although at this point, it feels a little bit more like gambling than trading. So I may just close that early at a loss. So we're hoping when the market opens Monday, we at least get a little bit of a bullish move because I'd really like to get out of these positions at this point. You know, most of my positions account for about 85% of the possibilities in the market basically means I'm body hedged. I can handle the body of possibilities that happen on a weekly basis. However, I am not tail hedged on this account, which means when shit happens like a meteor strike, uh, my account is absolutely wiped out. I redlined the 10K account just so I can post really provocative, you know, how I made 25% this week thumbnails. All right. So finally, for those of you new here, make sure to subscribe. All my plays are time sensitive. So if you get them a day or two late, they're gonna be completely useless. I play earnings, biopharma catalyst, and swing plays most of the time. Also, if you need a good broker, a good source of stock market news, or a good source of options flow, check the referral links down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's make some money this week.